Resorts. This is City Walk. You guys having a good time out there? Yeah. I like the Wahoos out there. Welcome. My name is Scotty B. I'm uh, well, we're pleased for you guys have here tonight. It's one of the many great events that we're going to be having throughout the week, and you guys get your first look at some of the exciting things that are happening here at City Walk. Because we're going to bring a guest speaker up here that knows a little bit more than I do. Please welcome Tom Schroeder to the stage, VP of Corporate Communications. Let's give Tom a big round here. <laughs> How's everybody doing tonight? Yeah. Who is happy to be here with us? Yeah. Who is happy to be here with us? Yeah. We are thrilled that you guys are with us too. Um, it does my heart joy to look out and see nothing but people who are interested in writing about us and covering us. So thank you very much for being with us. This is a huge week for us, right? This is our preview of Diagon Alley, but so much more. Um, there's so many cool things happening across our entire destination and we thought what better way to tell the story than to bring you all here this week and let you see and experience it all. And what better way to start that story than to have you out here at City Walk and hear about all the really great and exciting things that are happening here. Um, there's a couple people that I want to recognize. The first is Rick Florell. He's our Senior Vice President of Revenue Operations and a lot of the thinking and strategy behind what's, what's happening out here. So please say a little bit back there. Thank you, Rick. You guys have the opportunity to talk to Rick tonight, as well as um, in Diagon Alley, when he's going to chat with you a little bit about our food out there. So you have that to look forward to. The next gentleman is named Modesto Alcala. He's our Vice President of Revenue Operations and Mr. City Walk. And he's going to come up and talk with you a little bit about what's going on out here and get us started for tonight. Have a great time. Have a great week. Let us know if you need anything. Modesto. Good evening and welcome. As Tom said, we have a lot of exciting stuff happening here in City Walk. So City Walk has been the entrance to our resort with dining, shopping, and entertainment. And as the resort has grown, so have, so have we here at City Walk. This year alone, we're adding eight new venues, three by which you get a chance to sample tonight. The Hot Dog Hall of Fame, Vivo Italian Kitchen, and Antoritos, authentic Mexican food. So I hope you have a great night this evening. Enjoy, drink, and eat some of our best food in City Walk. It is my pleasure right now to introduce to you Alan and Marcus from the Cowfish. Thank you, Nesto. Hello, Orlando. I feel like we should do a cow fish chant. You want to try one? When I say cow, you say fish. When I say cow, you say fish. Cow! Fish. Cow! Fish. Cow! Fish. Sorry, that was a little ad lib. And so was the tale of the cow and the fish from two separate places they had but one wish to bring to the world in a way so delish an unusual place to enjoy a great dish. I'm Marcus. And I am Alan, and we are owners of the Cowfish Sushi Burger Bar. Ten years ago, Alan and I set out to open a little Pan-Asian restaurant in Huntersville, North Carolina. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Huntersville in the house. Yeah. <laughs> Both of them, yeah, Those were two loud folks from Huntersville. Those some crazy folks. So we were growing. Five years later, we found a location for a second site. And as we were realizing the space was just too small, we couldn't fit, we couldn't fit sushi bar, alcohol bar, and have room for tables and chairs. Lo and behold, thank God, this clown over here was operating a gourmet burger joint next door. And I made a call one night. I called Marcus up and said, what if we tear down the wall between the existing spot for the burgers and this empty spot next door and make a sushi burger bar? And I said, you are an idiot. <laughs> that is a horrible idea. You should stop drinking. It will never last. Anyway. We did it anyway. We, we, year later, we opened the first Cowfish Sushi Burger Bar in Charlotte, North Carolina. The Cowfish menu consists of big old gourmet hunkin' burgers, innovative fresh sushi, and check this. Our trademark, is it sushi? Is it burger? No. Burgushi. Let that one settle a while. We'll show the international sign for Burgushi here. Right there. <laughs> well, you guys see practice it. that later on, see how everyone's doing. There you go. Anyway, we had the, we had the menu, but uh, being that there weren't too many sushi burger bars out there, we had to figure out 
what is it supposed to look like? And that's where we got to have a lot of fun. We take the food very seriously, but we wanted to have a lot of fun with the look. We wanted to take a little bit of land, a little bit of sea, Sorry about that. a little bit of uh, east meets west, cow and fish, vanilla ice meets Johnny Cash, and mix it all up together and kind of get its own an entity in its own. And that's what we've done. Some with very vibrant colors, kind of irreverent pop art that's in your face. And you want to hit the table? There was one more piece that had been rolling around in the back of our head. We had a neighbor a few doors down from our original concept, Mike Feldman, who you'll meet tonight right with there. T1 Vision. So give it up for Mike Feldman. Yeah. Mike had a restaurant in Huntersville that featured touchscreen technology. The tables were actually touchscreen computers. And Mike was burning me down. He'd come into the restaurant and say, we got to put some of these into your restaurant. we got to do this. And I said, I don't have any money, man. We can't do that. And, uh, and we kept pushing it off. Then the cowfish came about. And we had this unique opportunity to partner with T1 Visions. And today, the cowfish, we've actually used their technology as a cornerstone for what we're known for. Every sushi bar has a, as you're going to get to use up here, a touch screen where guests can read the newspaper, play games with the day, create a fish, drop into a virtual tank just behind the sushi bar. We work with them on a uh, app, a waitlist app, a waitlist system, and even the ability to communicate with guests live time at their table. So we boast two restaurants today, our original unit in Charlotte, North Carolina, and we last year we opened up another unit in my hometown of Raleigh, North Carolina. From the sky dropped Universal Studios coming around saying, how about we partner together and open up uh, the cowfish at Universal Studios? And we said, duh, that sounds like a good idea. What do you think? So today we feel very fortunate that with our partners here at Universal Orlando, we get to uh, open one up here for you. So we invite you back once we get it off the ground. We hope you can, once these guys get it off the ground, love to have you guys come All by. All of you are welcome to come join a meal on Modesto. Modesto <laughs> said he's got a tab. Only parties of 100 at a time. Thanks for having us here. Have a great night. Thank you, Alan. Thank you, Marcus. Two enthusiastic gentlemen, huh? So for the next person I'd like to introduce to you is Steven Schuschler from Hot Dog Hall of Fame, otherwise known as the number one hot dog fan. Come on up, Steve. Hello, everyone. How many here love hot dogs? Seems like almost everyone here. Hot dogs is an American food, obviously. Uh, it's, it's something that uh, we have a great deal of pride in. We've been experimenting with hot dogs for the last seven years. Seven years going all over the world eating some of the best hot dogs. I promise you that Hot Dog Hall of Fame here at Universal Studios will be the best hot dog experience you've ever had. Um, to give you an example of some of the things we're doing, we're going to serve five different beers, nine different hot dogs, 12 different kinds of mustards. We're going to have one of the most exclusive mustard bars you've ever seen. Um, you know, my experience, I'm not a big yellow mustard fan. I want to try something different. I want to try a brown mustard or a mustard with a seed. Even some of the German mustards, some of the best mustards in the world. Well, we have them here at Universal Studios. You'll have 12 different kinds of mustards and five different kinds of buns. You know, my, my partners that were just up on stage were talking about sushi, and they say that uh, sushi, one of the most important ingredients in sushi uh, is rice. Rice is a huge part of sushi. Any sushi chef will tell you that rice is one of the most important ingredients. Well, I would tell you that the bun of a hot dog is also very, very important, as well as the mustard. So we've taken hot dogs to a whole nother level. It's all about the small stuff, ladies and gentlemen. I think you're going to have a great time with Hot Dog Hall of Fame. Uh, you know, we like to say it's hot dogs, vanilla ice cream, mom and dad, and Universal Studios. So we're really, really excited about it. And one of the things that we're going to be known for is some of the little stuff. 
for instance, are two-foot hot dogs. I can imagine a two-foot hot dog. It's about that big. Two people can hold it, and they'll eat it from both sides. We have special hot dog hats. We have all kinds of things for the family and for children. And paint your own wiener. We are the official home of Paint Your Own Wiener. You can buy these uh, hot dogs inside, and they get, they get painted, they get collected, they get saved. It's cute, it's fun. We have a huge jumbo-thon that Universal Studios is going to show all kinds of movies of people eating hot dogs. It doesn't matter how old you are. You can be three years old, you can be a hundred years old. Your face is going to be up there on the jumbo-thon eating 12 different kinds of mustards with all of our different hot dogs. We're very, very proud of how much time and effort have been put into hot dogs. And for those of you who can't eat meat, um, there's all different kinds of substitutes that you'll be able to eat with hot dogs and also enjoy it. So we're proud to be here. We're proud to be part of the new lineup of all the great food here at Universal Studios. And I think you're going to love Hot Dog Hall of Fame. Now, one of the things we did is we trademarked the art of mustard. So besides just having 12 different kinds of mustard, ladies and gentlemen, um, it's also going to be served in a very different kind of way. You'll be able to taste them in an artist's palate. The art of mustard. Um, you'll be able to uh, have a paintbrush and actually paint your hot dog just like you paint, paint your own wiener hot dog here. Um, and it's really fun, it's enjoyable, it's a different kind of experience. You can see what the outside already looks like. You'll be seating actually in old baseball seats. So uh, hot dogs are synonymous with fun, synonymous with baseball and all different kinds of sports. So we're really excited to be here at Universal Studios. Thank you so very much. Well, thank you very much, first of all, for your time. It was valuable. Uh, tonight we have an exciting program for you. Hot Dog Hall of Fame, Hot Tomitos and Vivo to enjoy dining and have some cocktails. As Marcus and Helen said, be our guest when we open the Cowfish uh, Sushi Bar. So, for now, let's uh, enjoy, relax, and have some fun. So let's get this party started. Woo!